Hi everyone, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today I'm excited to be sharing with you my third alternative video where I'm going to be sharing some alternative projects made with the January 2022 Paper Pumpkin Kit called Kisses and Hugs. This fun kit creates 10 of these fun shaped, fun fold cards and I've created some really fun projects with these so if you're interested in checking those out you can click in the top right corner and it'll take you to the playlist. It came in two fun colors very vanilla and blushing bride. So go ahead and check out those after you've watched this video to see more of my alternative projects. So today we're going to be focusing on three different ways we can use the envelopes that came in the kit. And we're going to be creating these three fun cards. If you are new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, click on the subscribe button and then the bell for notifications. I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator and help you with any of your paper crafting needs. To purchase any of the products you see me use today, please visit my online store. And if you're interested in subscribing to Paper Pumpkin so that you can get your own monthly crafting kit, the link is in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started making these cards. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut all of my envelopes to the sizes that I need for all three cards. So to do this, what I like to do is trim off the bottom and then the sides. Now if you made my alternative cards um, number one from my first video, then you should have some open envelopes already from this side that you can use because we used this side um, for those projects. So again, check those out in the um, playlist and it's linked in the top right corner. So for my first card, we're going to be creating three strips and each strip is four and a quarter inches in length and then one and a quarter inches in width. Because the pattern goes the long way, we need to cut first at four and a quarter inches. So we've got our length and then we'll cut to one and a quarter inches and we'll do that three times. Okay, so we're ready for card number one. I'm gonna just put those off to the side. Okay, so now we're on to our second card. I've already trimmed off the bottom and sides, so I'm starting with that um, nice large piece of the pattern, and I'm going to place the bottom on four and a quarter inches and remove the top, and then I'm gonna pretty much cut this in half. I'm going to do it at two and three fourths on both sides. There may be just a little bit left over after I trim those two. So we're going to go ahead and use these two pieces for card number two. So put those off to this side. All right, so now we're going to be doing card number three. And this one is different because we're going to need to utilize this top space um, just so we can get the length that we need here. So you can get two of this um, particular cut. And so you can make um, two cards with one envelope here. So what I've done, sorry, is I lined up the bottom edge at five and a half inches, which is the length that I need here for my card. And then you'll notice that the top of the envelope comes in just slightly. So you do want to trim that off by lining up that inside point with your cut line. So here it is, the inside point. And that's just maybe three sixteenths of an inch is about what... Um, how much I'm cutting off there from the bottom. So then you should get a piece that's a, just a little bit over five and a quarter. So it's five and three eighths. And so we're gonna go ahead and cut this in half. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do two and a half inches. And that will give me two pieces that are about the same um, width. And then you can um, create two cards with that one envelope in this particular design. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those off to the side. 
All right, so now that our pattern paper has been cut, we are ready to put our cards together. And I created all these cards so they are super quick and simple to put together. Um, for this card, I did cut an extra piece that's not in the kit. It's from Blushing Bride cardstock, and I used the Sweetheart dies. This is a new product in the new January through June mini catalog from Stampin' Up, and I just used one of the large heart dies there. And so we're going to first stamp on that. Because this is such a small piece, I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive to the back and attach it to some scratch paper. I wanted to heat emboss this greeting in gold, and so I'm going to also add some embossing powder to, or embossing buddy, to the top. And that's gonna keep the powder from sticking um, to other things rather than just the greeting. So I'm using Versamark here, and I could do the love you greeting, just like I did for my card. So you just ink that up, and stamp that in the center of your heart. Then I've got my tray of gold embossing powder. And I'm just going to scoop up a little bit with some with a piece of cardstock and I just apply that over my stamped images and then tap off the excess. And then we're going to heat that with a heat tool. So you're just gonna heat that until it melts and gets shiny. And then you can remove that from your scratch paper. You may want to just wipe off any excess embossing buddy powder that might be on that cardstock still. Okay, so this is ready now for our card and we can put everything together. So you're just gonna start by adding adhesive to the back of your strips. And I like to begin in the center. So you're just gonna eyeball and place it just at a slight angle and then place one up above and then one below. Then you're going to have a piece of vellum. This is three and a quarter by four and a half inches. And I know I'm going to be covering up the center of it. So that's where I'm going to apply my adhesive and that just goes in the center of the card. Then you're going to take one of the white heart die cuts from the kit and add it with some dimensionals and just place that right in the center of your card. Then you'll take the love you and add a couple dimensionals to that heart. And that goes in the center of your white heart. So you'll get something like this. And then you'll take some sequins and add those to your card. And I just added two here at the bottom and then one at the top left. And that card is all done. So quick and easy and really cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and move to card number two. For this card, we're going to do some stamping in the background with the little dots stamp that came in the kit. And I'm doing that with the gray granite. And I think I might have forgotten to mention for my first card that I was working on Blushing Bride cardstock. And for this one, I am working with a gray granite cardstock for my card base. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp these in some corners. So I'm going to do the bottom left corner and the top right corner. Just a couple stamps in each. So something like that. Then I'm going to add our two pieces that we cut from the envelope. And before I do that, I want to distress these slightly. And so I'm just going to take my bone folder and I'm going to run it around the edges of each piece just to distress it.
Okay, so we're going to be using the first layer that we're adding has the flirty flamingo side. And you're just gonna place that kind of in the bottom right corner at an angle. Then you'll take the pattern side and that's gonna go on top at an opposite angle in just over the first. And if you wanted to, you could fold down a corner or two. Then we're going to take one of the hearts from the kit and I'm going to add some color to this with my blending brush and both Blushing Bride and Flirty Flamingo ink. So I want to make sure that it's not, um, doesn't have too dark of a color on the brush already. And I'm gonna start with my light color and I'm just gonna blend from the outside to the inside. And I'm just gonna try to cover this whole heart with color. And it doesn't have to be dark color, it can be light. So I have a nice even color of Blushing Bride and then I'm going to add Flirty Flamingo just to the edges. Okay, and you'll get something that looks like this. It just has a lot of fun color to it, and I'm going to add it to my card um, without dimensionals, so just regular adhesive. For my first card, I went in this direction. For this card, I think I want to go the opposite direction just for some fun and some variation. So now we're going to stamp our greeting. So I've got my Flirty Flamingo ink, and I have added the X and O on one stamp together. I've made sure that they are um, even. And so now what I'm going to do is line it up on my grid paper and find the center of my strip. And this is a one inch by three and a half inches. So it should be one, two, three, four is an inch, and three, one, two, three, four, and three. So um, it's halved at one and three fourths of an inch. And the reason I'm doing that is because I wanna stamp the X and O right in the center of my strip. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that. Then I'm gonna pull in some scratch paper and stamp on both sides after that. So now I'm just gonna squeeze in the O as close to that X as I can and then stamp on the right side by squeezing in the X as close as I can to the first O. Then you'll get something that looks like this. And then the next step is to flag the ends and I'm gonna use my pick a punch banner and I'm just going to cut each end into that banner shape. Just like that. So now I'm going to take a bone folder and here in the center, I'm gonna roll out so that it curls my paper in. And then on the top, I'm gonna to, right over that last X, I'm gonna curl out. And that makes the banner come out. And I'll do the same on this side. So over that O, I curl the opposite direction. So now I've got a banner that's got some um, shape to it. I'm gonna add this with dimensionals. I'm gonna place the dimensionals only in the center of the banner. And then that goes on to my card right in the center of the heart. And just by adding that little bit of um, shape to the banner, it really just makes that pop. It's kind of a fun, um, thing to add to your card. So for my last part of the greeting, I wanted to add friend to the center. So I've got a piece here that's three eighths of an inch in thickness, and it is one and a half inches in length. I'm going to use gray granite again from the kit and stamp that right in the center. And then I'll pop that up with dimensionals as well. 
I love these little mini dimensionals. They're perfect for tiny little pieces like this. And that goes in the center. And then the very last thing we're going to add are some sequins. I'm going to place one up in the top right corner and then two in the bottom corner. Like so. And that card is all done. Again, quick, simple, tons of fun layers and textures. It's a really great card. Okay, so for our last card, we're going to be stamping on some Flirty Flamingo card stock, and that's our card base. And again, these card bases are all just your standard size, which is um, five and a half inches by eight and a half inches and scored at four and a quarter. And I'm going to take this solid heart from the stamp set that was in the kit, and with some Flirty Flamingo ink, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp some hearts going all the way down my card. All right, so you'll get something like this when you've stamped all of them going down on the right hand side. Then you're going to take one of those long pieces that we cut from the envelope and you're going to add a half inch strip of Blushing Bride to the right side. So do that by just adding some adhesive to the back and then placing it where you want it. And I want just about a fourth of an inch or so showing from of that Blushing Bride cardstock. And then I'm going to add this to my card base. And remember, you have two of these, so you can make two of this particular design for your card. And then you're just going to place this on the left side of your card base. I feel like I need another heart right there, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my Flirty Flamingo ink and just do one more, maybe down a little lower, just to kind of balance out those shapes. And then I have already stamped on one of the white hearts from the kit, and I did the same design that I shared yesterday in my um, second alternative video. And again, you can find those up in the top right corner. And I'm going to add this with dimensionals. And just place that at an angle near the top of your card. And then, of course, add a couple sequins. And your card is all done. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me create these three quick and simple alternative cards using the January 2022 Paper Pumpkin Kit. If you're interested in subscribing to Paper Pumpkin so that you can get your own monthly crafting kit, please use the subscription link in the description box below. If you'd like to get written instructions or see close-up images of these cards, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.